Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, December the 16th, and it's 9.34 a.m. Well, I've just become aware that at least some of my email is definitely going into spam. Now, I know there was one of you that had written like three times under three different videos, could I please have your email? And I gave it to you twice. Haven't heard from you. So if it went into spam, which I regularly delete, I apologize. This morning, uh, I had written to one of you about a matter that you had requested prayer on and hadn't heard back and I was concerned about the prayer request and if you see this you'll know who you are and I haven't gotten an email from you well it dawned on me that hey you need to look in your spam because other people are telling me they're finding my emails in their spam well a good friend of mine she's, she's not a, a regular viewer but sometimes she'll join us on the YouTube and uh, her last two emails came through with that same banner running across the top in yellow that says let me see what it says let me go to junk all right it says mail thinks this message is junk mail okay that's what throws it into spam when my email system, whatever you want to call it, uh, suspects like the person's not in my comments, there's some company that's known to throw out spam and so forth. They throw it into spam. Well, apparently they're doing that with, uh, with personal email because some of you have told me so. They tried to put my friend's email in there, but hers made it, although it had the yellow banner. Now, this morning, I went in there to see if the person I, you know, commented with, if his email was in there, and it wasn't. He may have sent one earlier that got deleted, because I'll just click on that and delete it. I'm not expecting my personal email to go in there. Well, I found my Israel AM. And I had just recently signed up for the Common Sense Show by Dave Hodges. Found it in there from 1213. Well, you know, so if that one was in there, what is today? Today is the 16th. Okay, so the 13th was Friday. So he probably doesn't put one out on the weekends. So probably the ones before that, I just deleted them. Anyway, the point is, if you've been trying to reach me, let me know in the comments that you sent me an email that if I don't see it, check my spam. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry I haven't been on here very much lately. I haven't felt real good. And my asthma cough is acting up. <coughs> so, um... I actually was trying to do a video last night and I got interrupted with company from upstairs. And this place I'm thinking about moving to is, is right down the hall from her and she, she is my uh, only friend here. Well, friend my age, uh, close to my age. She's younger than me, but um, we have a lot in common. Anyway, so uh, I wanted to apologize for not not having as much on as normal. But um, this Israel AM report for Monday, 
Monday, December 13th. Now, wait a minute. Today is Monday, December 16th. So now that's just weird. The Israel news you need to know. Israel AM for Monday, December 13th, 2019. It's got to be just a typo. I'm going to view the web version. Let me click on that. Alright. What's going on over there is not unlike what's going on over here. The Democrats are trying to impeach President Trump for what the Republicans are calling not an impeachable offense. There was no impeachable offense done and they're in uproars about it. While the Democrats voted, yes, there there is an impeachable offense, and they're going forward with it. And the Republicans are like, no, this will never happen, and, well, we'll see. He has to, our president has to go somehow, some way, so that when the bride and some others are out of here through the first rapture there's three days of darkness and nobody will be able to contact anybody not the government and all their fancy equipment because it'll be a God thing okay God is gonna put the lights out he's gonna put out all the cell phones all TVs the teenagers won't be able to be on their devices 24 seven <laughs> minus whatever they sleep <coughs> excuse me so anyhow let me just read part of this if you're interested if because i do think that what's going on in israel is important to end time events all right now the last thing i reported on israel was about their voting and how they still didn't have a prime minister. They didn't have a leader. They couldn't make a, a constitution or whatever. I, I don't remember all the details. But anyway, this is uh, sort of talking along the same lines. It's called a news update. Now on here it says Israel News for December 16th, 2019. So that has it right. All right. The new right party launched its election campaign today. But party co-founder Ayelet Shakid was missing from promotional materials. The former justice minister has been given assurance by the son of Brazil by the son of Brazil's president. Okay, let, let me reread that. Prime Minister Netanyahu said yesterday that he has been given assurances by the son of Brazil's president that Brazil will move its embassy to Jerusalem next year. Brazil is the largest country in South America. So, like us, moving our embassy to Jerusalem, that is us supporting that Jerusalem is the capital. So, this is also an assurance that Brazil recognizes Jerusalem as the capital. It is a big deal. Lord Eric Pickles, <laughs> Pickles, the UK... Special Envoy for Post-Holocaust Matters told a conference 
in Jerusalem that the new conservative government in the UK would pass a law banning public agencies from engaging with the anti-Israel boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement. The new boycott will not include goods produced in the West Bank because the territory is not considered part of Israel by international law. Okay, hold it. This is not what the email was talking about. Listen to this. This is the email that says it's for Monday, December 13th. It must have been Friday. Boy, somebody was asleep on the job. President Reuven Rivlin gave the Israeli public some encouragement regarding the upcoming unprecedented third round of elections scheduled to be held on March 2nd. Now, that ain't even the same article. Okay, so they're holding off this third round of elections until March 2nd. He said, we must not allow ourselves to sink into despair or grievance, which does no good. We must not lose faith in the democratic system or in its ability to create the reality we live in with our own hands. When the time comes... We will all exercise our democratic right and do in the hope of a better future as soon as possible for us all. Boy, are they ignorant. They have absolutely no idea what day we're living in. Or at least that's what their, their Israel AM shows. Blue and white leader Benny Gantz said that if he becomes, now listen to this, if he becomes the next prime minister, he will consider agreeing to a pardon for Prime Minister Netanyahu. Well, isn't that nice of him? If he agrees to retire from political life, he said, we don't want to see another prime minister behind prison walls. It almost sounds like a threat. You back off. Let me get elected and I'll pardon you if you retire completely from political life. And who knows if he'll follow through with what he says. It sounds crooked to me. Yisrael Betanyu, however you say that, leader Avigdor Lieberman also raised the idea of a pardon, saying no immunity, pardon in exchange for honorable retirement. He added that he believes that most of the Knesset would agree to a pardon. Now, what do you make of that? Maybe it doesn't really matter, but what goes on in Israel is probably more important than most of us even realize. Moshe Feiglin, leader of the right-wing libertarian Zehut party said that his party will not run in the upcoming election. They're bowing out. The latest poll shows the blue and white with a six seal I'm sorry a six seat lead over Likud or Likud however you say that but that would still not give them the ability to form a government. That's the problem. They haven't yet been able to form a government. That's the important issue. 
the poll because the government will be the ones to to say when the building of the temple will be and do you see how important that is for end time prophecy we you have to have the temple in order for the antichrist to sit in it because the word says that he will seat himself in the temple as if he were God. So who gets in? And are they going to push for the temple right away? Or is this going to be something they sit on the back burner? Is this something they're all for? So the, the point I'm just making on this is that maybe if you're interested, you might want to research on it a little further. You could send me an email and I'll do a follow-up because I don't really feel, honestly, I don't feel up to it. I have so many emails. I just keep seeming to be getting farther and farther behind, but it's not all of you all. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I probably just need to unsubscribe from, but like this and the Common Sense Show, which I just signed up for, I finally got one because I that shows you how they don't want me to read what's in it because they're throwing them in spam. Maybe because I hadn't gotten one before, but that is a well-known a good conservative newsletter <sighs> that just aggravates me that's all anyway I'm gonna see if when when I was on the web version okay this was for December 16th Clearly, that was from Monday, and you could go to archive. Let me just see. Israel News for 1213. Yes, that was for Friday the 13th. Okay, so you'd have to click on archive. It's the third word over. And you could find it that way. Um, well, I'll just put this link in the description box. How about that? Okay. And you can go to today's email for the one I started to read. And I don't know why it took me so long. I think it's because my brain is tired. <laughs> I wonder if it's my new Wi-Fi. Well, anyway... Um, I'll let you go with that. You can read more if you're interested. Well, actually, that article was over. But keeping up with at least knowing and some of what's going on in Israel, I think, is important. So that's why I like to get these, so that I can at least read them over and see, okay, this sounds kind of important, you know, things about the elections because that's going to determine who makes the government and so forth. They don't yet have a running, working government. They're going, it's like they're running on fumes. If you ask me, that's how I look at it. They're like going on old rules or, I don't know how you would put it. Well, anyway, I'll end it here. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.